around the world is unacceptable. So these are the sisters, these are the women from the village. This is what the village looks like, whether you in Ghana or you be in America. This is the village. And we're standing together for a fallen in age, a fallen hero, a woman that didn't have to lose her life, but she did because of awareness was not available to find it at the top. So we stand here together with our sisters and our brother from Ghana because she was a she was a sister from Ghana. But she was our sister too. And everybody knows her. All the community knows her because everything she comes up. If you having a party, everything she does, all the this and the food and everything for you for free. She doesn't charge, and she's everywhere. So this is you know we hurt. It's really hurt. So we don't know what to do. So it's very sad, and we pray that God will restore this to her soul. So that you know, 
and whatever she is, we still be with her. So may God bless her. So. And you think that's it for her? The only thing is, I mean, what I can say is that God does whatever you know He wants. I can't accuse anyone, and we don't know what happened, so I can't comment on that. But the only thing is, what happened is what happened. So everything, God said that in everything we have to give thanks. So you know, whatever happened. It's up to God, so I can't comment anything like because I wasn't there and nobody didn't see it, so I can't comment. The only thing is, our prayers to the husband that maybe whatever happens, God will repent him. And your name? My name is Francis Osei. And you can just spell that for us. Um, I'll say it's O as in Oscar, S as in Sam, E as in Edward, I as in Marie, and Francis, F R E N C I S. You guys were close family friends, but not blood-related? Oh, I mean like a family yeah. friend, yeah, yeah. But, you know, like I'm saying that, yeah, she's a sister to us. She's, she comes over there. I mean, you know. Um, for her, she had been here, maybe, I can say like a 25 or, you know, 27 years. 25 to 27 years. So it's stable. Yeah. Anybody else want to share? This is the community. Thank you. My name is Beatrice Akwa. Uh, we are standing in here as a uh, Ghanaian community uh, to mourn with our sister in the front. Whatever has happened, we know that it's very serious. It hurts. And we are just pleading with everyone that uh, violence has been to the community, it is not due to the country, and it is not due to anybody. So what we are pleading is that the violence is This is our message to everyone. organization here at Tracy Towers and she was a sister, a family that we are so hurt that this has happened to. We are a large community of African Americans, Latinx, Caribbean, Caucasian, whatever, live in this building. But we are all a family. We all work together, we fight together for the community. And to see one of our community people have to leave the earth like this is very hurtful. Okay, we share the, the loss with the family, even though they may not be our close relatives, they're still our relatives. And all we can do is offer condolence to her family members, pray for her, pray for her husband, because we don't know what happened, that he would do such a thing as this, because she was a very nice lady always willing to help people in the community, always work with everybody. She didn't just say, well, oh, if you're not from a certain place, we can't work with you. We all work together here. We all live together here. We are one family here at Tracy Towers. And I've been here since 1975, and this is nothing has ever happened like this. So we really, really are all hurt. As a community, we are hurt. So all we can do is pray together, hope for a better future. The lady who is here, who is Stephanie from Warm, that we need to understand what domestic violence is, that it hurts everybody, women, young girls, even men, this all happens to. And we need to try to get a handle on this and try to help each other so that nothing like this ever, ever happens again. Yeah. 
My name is Veronica Nochi. She is our church member and has been in the service for so many years. She was so nice, she was so nice, did everything just to help us then. That's what I've said. She has love, ready to assist everybody. And she really said that, that we never played with her. So we don't know what happened, but her prayer is she will be in a good place and she will always be remembered. Thank you. Thank you. And then if you also would mind just saying and spelling your first and last name. Oh, Veronica, V-E-R-O-N-I-C-A-A-N-O-K-Y-E. Thank you so much. And I'm sure you get some video of Good evening. My name is Nana Dampua. I live at Lisa Towers. My main concern is when things happen, we should let the police do their job. There's too much speculating going on, and that's very bad. The police report hasn't come in yet. Yes, there were two people in the room, only the two of them knows what happened. And there's so much talk going on. This is a beautiful building. I've lived here for years. We've had our ups and downs, but nothing like this. But I'm appreciative if they can stop saying things that they have no idea or no idea about. So I want to say thank you. And if you would mind just saying it's going to if you don't mind. Yeah. Want to say something too? Yes. <laughs> My name is George Goliath. I work in this building as a security, as a maintenance worker, and other things. I've known the couple. Wonderful people. Whatever happened is a tragedy. But according to my information, it is not nice. The brother was sick. I had the opportunity to be in the apartment two months ago. What I observed was not nice. I said to the deceased, Monica, please get help for him. And according to my information, he stripped naked in front of people or in the church. And therefore, he should not be in jail. He should be in a mental not in that church. Are you the husband or you said the husband? according to what I heard. Decent people, there was no need for this. But whatever happens, it happens. But many people are casting their own statement. And they are blaming this and blaming that because they are here saying they are saying. The facts of the matter, they should have been in the house at the time. Alright? It's a tragedy. And we all sympathize. And we know she's dead and gone. Some people say may she rest in peace, she's in a better place. We don't know that. But at the same time, it's a tragedy. But I do hope, if the attorney who's investigating this matter, investigate the medication that was given to the man, it might have something to do with the mentality of the individual. All right? And then he just had to say and spell your first and last name too. So we have well, my name is Coria, C-O-R-R-E-I-A. First name George, like Washington, but I didn't live in America. Point of correction. Yep. He never stripped himself in the church. Uh, yeah, and we're, we're only yes. reporting about this. All right.